Il me fait maintenant grandement plaisir de vous présenter notre, un, un de nos finissants de la Faculté des sciences sociales, Adam Moscow. Il va prononcer son discours d'adieu à la cohorte des finissants. Adam. Très honorable Paul Martin, Madame la chancelière, oh, I can do this. Monsieur le recteur, Monsieur le doyen, chers professeurs, chers étudiants, finissants et finissantes, distingués invités, class of 2013, we are here. We've made it. Today we are one. And don't we look stunning? <laughs> we, we do. Uh, I have that honor to see you, and you look beautiful. We look beautiful. Aujourd'hui est une journée pour célébrer notre parcours en tant que promotion. Au cours des dernières années, nous avons appris les unes des autres et nous avons grandi en tant qu'individus. Nous sommes ici aujourd'hui à cause de notre persévérance et notre dévouement à nos études. But we did not get here alone. Indeed, we are joined today by our family, parents, siblings, family, friends, my parents and my sister and my grandmother. Uh, you gave us something irreplaceable, and today is your day too. You gave us unconditional love and support too deep and varied to even describe. Thank you. Nous sommes ici aussi ici parce que nous avons eu la chance de rencontrer les professeurs et les membres du personnel universitaire qui affichent leur passion sans borne pour l'amélioration de notre expérience étudiante. Merci d'avoir ouvert vos portes et par conséquent, nos horizons. Je suis extrêmement fier d'être une membre de la classe de finissante de 2013. En vous regardant, mes chers collègues diplômés, je me souviens la, de la diversité et de la qualité de ce que nous avons accompli. I am reminded how, of how so many of you dedicated countless hours enhancing campus life, promoting mental health and respect on campus, and responding to tragedies both at home and abroad, including the earthquake in Haiti in 2010. As well, a number of you represented us as student leaders on various boards and student associations. It wasn't always glamorous, and you deserve our deepest appreciation. Thank you. À mes collègues à l'école de psychologie, where are you? Je sais que plusieurs d'entre vous travaillent pour aider des individus marginalisés et vulnérables dans notre société, y compris les victimes d'abus et d'exploitation. Puissiez-vous continuer à vous épanouir dans ce travail important? Par ailleurs, je suis convaincu que grâce à nos conversations en classe, Nous ne deviendrons pas seulement des meilleurs chercheurs et cliniciennes, mais aussi des meilleures personnes et meilleurs parents et conjoints un jour. <laughs> if you find yourself confronted by a sarcastic-sounding, generation-wise skeptic, you need not whimper with their eyes rolling and such. What you can do, oh, and they're asking you this, what can you do with a BA in psychology? Don't whimper. You can respond, what can't I do with a BA in psychology? <laughs> Pour tous uh, ceux qui recevront leur diplôme du programme d'études internationales et de développement international, where are you? <laughs> Je vous remercie d'avoir ouvert nos yeux à l'importance de réfléchir à l'importance uh, et des implications et des dimensions éthiques de l'engagement du Canada avec le monde. During our time at the University of Ottawa, we witnessed and became an integral part of a radical change at our school. Our university opened itself up to the world in an unprecedented manner and embraced the concept of community service learning, orienting our academic journeys to the imperative of service to others. We have made a difference locally and globally from the Strathcona Heights Homework Club close to campus to uh, Rwanda, from Senegal to Berlin. Now, the social issues that we tackled, the economic and political issues we tackled, are far more overwhelming and far greater than our individual capacities. Yet, as Rabbi Tarfon put it, it is not your part to finish the task, 
but neither are you free to desist from it either. And desist, we will not. Will we? No. <laughs> Furthermore, as Mother Teresa reminds us, we, we can do no great things, just small things, with great love. The school provided us with an opportunity, but we took up the task, and we did so with our characteristic strengths, compassion, energy, ingenuity, and kindness. We have a fundamental desire to connect with people and to make a positive difference. At the same time, let us never lose sight of the way we must seek to build that change with humility and patience and devotion to people rather than obsession with products. And if we're willing, we can learn from those around us. And to borrow from Broadway lyricists, uh, Betty Comden and Adolph Green, we can aspire to make someone happy. And oh, the places will go. Le Canada est une paix étonnante, et tout le monde, et vous dans cette salle, en êtes la cause. Le sirop d'érable a un rôle important à jouer, mais vous êtes irremplaçable. Vous définissez le Canada sur la scène mondiale. Vous défendez les valeurs canadiennes en faisant la promotion de la liberté, la paix et l'égalité des droits. C'est pourquoi aujourd'hui est aussi une journée pour se souvenir de nos frères et sœurs qui rêvent chaque jour d'avoir la chance d'être parti d'une société libre. Each day we realize our right to think and express ourselves, to take action and join social and political movements. Meanwhile, our peers elsewhere face repression from leaders, afraid to embrace the ideas and capacity of their youth, afraid of how they might shake things up. Through our studies, we have become critical thinkers, and as such, defenders of the democracy that we hold dear. One of my greatest heroes is Natan Sharansky, who was imprisoned for nine years in the Soviet Union on trumped-up charges of anti-Soviet slander. In 1983, Sharansky began a hunger strike, and he was offered to be released in exchange for a confession. He refused, saying that in his mind and spirit, he was a free man, and his captors, his KGB captors, were the ones who were truly imprisoned in their rigid totalitarianism. There is nothing more dangerous to totalitarianism than a generation of empowered and educated thinkers like us. The state of technology today brings us closer than ever to the lives of our peers around the planet. We see their struggles in real time and in high definition. We are more globally conscious than any generation in human history. We know that too many children are brutally robbed of their innocence through exploitation, slavery, and forced military service. We know that too many young people are forced to interrupt their studies to care for ill, disabled, or injured family members. And, as Mr. Martin can attest, we know that too many of our fellow citizens are systematically disadvantaged in fulfilling their educational aspirations. Our citizens who belong to the First Nations included. Mais à quoi sert la connaissance sans l'engagement? Il s'agit maintenant d'utiliser nos compétences nouvellement acquises et de les mettre au service de la poursuite des droits humains et de la dignité humaine. Nous devons avoir le courage, comme Emmanuel Kant l'a dit, de mettre en pratique notre propre compréhension. We must have the courage to use our own understanding. The fight waged by our ancestors for the freedoms that we hold today is a fight that continues, a fight for justice, equality, and peace and security. Indeed, some of you graduates in this room served in the Canadian Armed Forces, and for that, we thank you. We love you. Que nous soyons à Kandahar, Afghanistan, ou sous la colline parlementaire, ou dans la bibliothèque Morissette, je crois que nous avons tous la capacité d'offrir une contribution notable à notre société. Mais cette confiance ne doit pas brouiller notre vision de la réalité que you know, nous fasse. Nous sommes après tout des chercheurs en sciences sociales. Notre mission exige de s'attarder à des questions complexes en ayant un impact positif sur notre société. Et c'est là, même si nous nous sentons parfois comme dans la tour de Babel. By working towards a better world and developing lasting relationships along the way, we'll find meaning in life. As psychiatrist and Holocaust survivor Viktor Frankl explains, 
aiming for meaning and happiness and success is futile. These things cannot be pursued, rather they must ensue as unintended side effects of one's personal dedication to a cause greater than oneself or our surrender to a person other than ourselves. That is the life I wish for us all. Je sais que les perspectives ne sont pas nécessairement idéales en ce moment. Malgré le marché de l'emploi actuel, il y a certainement beaucoup de travail à accomplir, non? Class of 2013, we are Generation Y, a generation that says yes to innovation, collaboration, empathy, and optimism. We serve others because that is who we are. C'est un honneur pour moi d'être devant vous aujourd'hui. Je tiens à remercier à chacun et chacune d'entre vous d'être venu célébrer ce jour avec nous. Class of 2013, we have much to celebrate. We did it. Congratulations. Félicitations. Mazel tov. Thank you. Adam, merci, c'était fabuleux. Uh, the words that you chose, as well as the spirit with which you spoke them, uh, captured and reflected uh, the ideals and the energy of the generation for which you spoke. Thank you so much for your words here today. It was terrific. We're going to get that onto YouTube. <laughs> You're going to be a hit. We'll get you elected. Well, maybe, maybe not that. We like the guy. You know, I think it was Robertson Davies who said that the, the task of a university is to create the future. Well, from the words we heard this morning from Adam and from the people we see in front of us, gowned and ready to receive their degrees, I think we can say with confidence that the future looks very bright indeed.